Hello! Um, in this lesson we're going to be working on the shuffle bowing and this bowing is a really good one to have in your back pocket because a lot of really fun fiddle tunes can be played with only this bowing and can still feel really fun even if you're not mixing up different bowings. So the basic stroke is down, shuffle, up, shuffle, down, shuffle, up, shuffle, down, shuffle, up, shuffle, down, shuffle, up, shuffle. The first thing I want us to try is just go down and up in the upper portion of the bow. But it's very important that you don't ever stop your bow from moving. If your bow stops moving in fiddle music, then everyone will stop dancing. So let's try in the upper part of the bow and never letting the bow stop. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. I'm also trying to not accent anything and keep my bow very light. The next thing I'm going to try that's pretty important is turning my bow into the hair. And so and if you see right here, what that's doing is it's bringing the stick down to meet the hair. Like that. That's called pronating your hand. That's one way to get that stick to come down. Another way is to just let your hand and your arm drop like this. So now what we're gonna try is pulling and going down and then pronating in. Up and pronating in. Good job. Because we've been pronating our hand in, what that can take the place of is the shuff in shuffle. So we're gonna pull and then pronate and push. And it's making this accented sound. The other thing we can do is try up, shuff, up, shuff, up, shuff, up, shuff, up, shuff. So we did that nice pronating in to make the shuff of shuffle happen. You're just gonna use less bow and less weight to let your bow kind of swallow the ol of shuffle. So it sounds like this. Down shuffle. Did you hear the ol? Gets a little bit swallowed by the bow, but that actually is putting the accent in the place where we want it. Down shuffle up. Now let's put a metronome on our shuffle to see if we can practice along at a good practice speed. I think 70 is a good speed at which to practice if you're just getting used to this. It's not so slow that you can get away with using too much bow, but it's also not so um, fast that you shouldn't be able to start getting into the groove of it. And I'll go and just jump in whenever you can. Here I go.
you can see on that shoof, I'm really letting my hand drop and that's what's making that little burst of pronation. It's also forcing me onto two strings at once, which is automatically gonna make my sound twice as loud. shuffle bowing at a bit of a faster speed. So here's 92. One and a two and a down shuffle up. to 116 are going to feel like pretty groovy, danceable speeds. If you end up playing for square or contra dances, 112 to 120 are usually really good feelings for what the dancers are looking for. It'll also be a good goal for you to try and reach in your own practice. So here we go. down. is for that rhythm to become completely ingrained into your body's rhythmicity so that once you become more advanced as a fiddle player, you can start to pick and choose from this repertoire of different bow rhythms that your body has totally ingrained into your arm so that it's not difficult to swap out a four beat pattern of bow shuffles for some other type of rhythm that then adds just variety and excitement to what you're doing. Um, I hope that this has helped.
and shuffle on, my friends.